what's going on everybody secretary back on deck um yeah this is a crazy post because i haven't done this in a while um and that is make a post of of digs that i had a lot of stuff has been you know hard to get thing, things that i've been you know just waiting to pop up on my disog list and stuff like that i went to the flea market today and i did some digging and it was man it was just <laughs> It just everything aligned, man. It, you know, because I could have easily gone to the flea market and not have found anything, and probably would have just, you know, uh, you know, just got discouraged. Because I, I mean, I'm starting to ha get this sense that, you know, at record stores and everything, they're they're pretty much dug. You know, I know there's always going to be stuff out there, but the timing. Uh, has to be just right now to get things out of thrift stores and off of uh, out of flea markets. I mean, it's just so much competition uh, now, you know. I mean, hordes and hordes of people collect the shit, which is crazy because I show up at the flea market like around 9.30 today, which is, you know, late. There's no worms to be had at that time at a flea market. I don't know about where you live, but definitely around here because, first of all, you have to <clears throat> compete with the record shop owners and 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 you know it's crazy so check it out i uh guy named dj fresh you are missing at least seven crates of your records because they were at the flea market this morning and it was just one of them i love when i get concentrated digs like like when you just go to the flea market or thrift store and it's just a whole shitload of blue notes or, or just, you know, a whole shitload of just rare classical or, or, or rock. Today, it was just a whole shitload of local DC funk, jazz, go-go, and soul. It was crazy. Never seen anything like this before in my life. And so, um, the only bittersweet part of it is that it will... You had water damage on a lot of the pieces. But the thing about it is most of the pieces that had water damage, I already had them. Um, uh, like all the Soul Searchers albums, all of those, all of those were just destroyed. Um, a lot of the local gospel and gospel funk LPs were just, just loved, used, and abused. So I left them there. But the thing that was crazy is some of the ones that I did bring home, which are in good condition, ended up being some of the more heavy hitter hitting soul funk LPs that you could get in DC. Not the, but some of the rarer ones. Um, so let me just start out. First one that I'm going to show you guys, this LP used to be just a monster, monster rarity coming out of DC. I mean, people would just fall over each other to try to get this LP and pay a mint for it like back in 2008, 2009. Positive change. Now, this is... I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't understand why people want this LP so bad. I don't think it's that good. It's just me. This is out of Oxen Hill, Maryland. Um, but, you know, there's something about it that a lot of soul collectors like. Um, and this is a duplicate copy. I pulled all my duplicates to show you guys, too. So, it's a duplicate copy. The first copy, I want to say, was my dad's. Yeah. First copy was my dad's. So, you know, I didn't have to dig for that. But this copy right here was a dig. <laughs> anyway, whatever. I'm not really on my shit today. But so that, that, that LP was, that was actually the first one that I saw. I was like, whoa. I I, I, be, I definitely beat the record store guys out. I definitely beat the DC Soul guys out. So I, th I was ready to head home. I was happy with that. And then I'm going I'm to give it to you in order. Then I saw this one, this bad boy. And this is a duplicate for me. Boom. Starfire. Starfire is a trio... Not trio as in uh, 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 musicians, but trio as in the genres that kind of collide together. Go-Go, Funk, and Boogie. Those are the three local DC 
band, Starfire. And I have Starfire's other LP, which is over there. I didn't pull it for the video. I'll do a needle drop on this. This LP is not in mint condition. It looks like it could have some issues on the first track on one side. Yeah, it looks like it could have some noise. My other copy is mint. And uh, let me just drop the needle on it so you guys can hear what it sounds like and I can hear what kind of condition it's in. Let me see. <laughs> That's soul right there. You listen to Soul Controller, you have this? This song for you. Next song, let's see. Uh, this is obviously the slow side. Hold on. Yeah. So they must have said that they must have uh, separated into sides as far as what music. I guarantee you this is probably going to be the faster, more funky, boogie type stuff. Let's see. One more needle drop for y'all. Enough of that. Moving on. So, yeah, man, this is, I mean, you can see this is crazy. This was a DC soul finding day today. Absolutely crazy. Next one, which is another duplicate that I got. Now, this is more of a go go boogie outfit. Not so much the soul, just go go boogie. The Mighty Peacemakers. My original, my duplicate that I got today. And uh, this, this, this for my man Dave Fatback. Yeah, you would like this. This is some YPI records. Oh, I should show you the labels of the other ones, too. Oh. I'll go back and do that while I'm doing the needle drop. While I'm doing this needle drop, I'll show you the, the labels of the other ones. This is for my man, Dave. Dave, this needle drop is for you. This is the... I, I know this LP well, so I'm going to drop it on one of the Go-Go, one of the Go-Go jams that's on this LP. Let's see. I got to stand up because I can't see what the hell I'm doing. <clears throat> I can't see lighting. Man. What, I have a light go out of here or something. I can't see a damn thing. Hold on, guys.
little taste of that. That's some real DC flavor right there. I mean, that's Go Go, man. You know, Go Go is is DC's take on MCing back then. That's the type of music that the MCs back local MCs decided to do their thing over. <clears throat> uh, okay, so here we go. Rare LP that wasn't a duplicate that I was just floored when I found. Check this out. This is Slow Your Body Down, Clifton Dyson. And look at that picture. That artwork. Yeah, this is some Northern Soul um, boogie at times. This is 1981 now. So you're not going to find heavy, heavy hitting funk. And, you know, I'm going to be honest. Uh, the, the condition of this record could be a lot better. Um, but I was just excited. The, the, I couldn't ask for a better sleeve. But the condition of the actual LP itself is not that great. But it's listenable and it's collectible, at least. Um, any more scratches, any more damage, I would have probably still got it for the cover, but I wouldn't have been as excited. This is pretty rare. And, uh, yeah, anything Clifton Dyson is very collectible. Uh, local cat, man. Um, so let's see. So now it gets interesting. Uh... I found a lot of go-go, and you know, I see it all the time being in D.C., but today was just go-go pieces that I've never seen before, like this one. This is uh, uh, the Groupies Mass Extension. And look at that label. That label literally is printer paper, y'all. And DJ Fresh has his, his name on it. This is Go-Go. This is some more Go-Go. And I'll throw it on just so you guys can hear what the local DC Go-Go sound is like if you're not familiar. Just a needle dropping it anywhere. Some of that stuff gets really exciting. So then I started finding test pressings of Gogo. And this is where it gets really interesting. So I'm just digging, 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 and I ran across this test pressing by uh cj's uptown crew which i've definitely heard of heard of cj's uptown crew never this is uh a tommy boy test pressing but it says featuring little benny which is he he's a legend in this area and you read it for yourself little benny and juju and so i got to thinking i'm like well damn is that Plunky and the oneness of Juju? It has to be. It has to be. I mean, we're talking about the same time period. We're talking about D.C. Those cats are, 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 are planted their roots in D.C., started, uh, did their thing on Black Fire Records. You, you know who I'm talking about? I'm talking about these guys. Juju. You guys, that, the, uh, the, um, African Rhythms Juju LP made its way around the VC at one point. Uh, Blake picked it up. Uh, a lot of people picked it up. This is an OG, too, right here. This is the one that's of Juju. Check out that, man. That That's that old soul shit that you just like to see. That's the type of back of a cover that you like to see. It reminds you of, like, a Cool in the Gang masterpiece. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, Space Jungle Love. This is one of my favorite Juju LPs. Um, here's another one. A later one, Plunky and the Oneness of Juju. You know, let me take it out of. This is also on Black Fire. This is on Black Fire. This is where Plunky got a little jazzy with things. And so, obviously, they were the backing band for these guys. And you know, they did that a lot. I think, if I'm not mistaken, they they were the backing band for Sarah Webster Fabio. I think. I'm sure. Maybe. I know, I know Chris Cole knows. He's probably sitting here like, <laughs> yeah. 
he could correct me. Uh, I, I could be wrong, but um, this is Go Go. So Juju, obviously, this is like a almost a PSA, um, which also kind of coincides with uh, a project that Juju would do because you know they're very politically and socially aware, um, and a lot of things they do, especially later on. You see their you see their names on old flyers or, or town halls that they used to do around here, all kinds of shit. And so um, this was like a PSA type music piece, uh, you know, say no to drugs or some stuff like that. But uh, obviously Juju is the backing band, the go-go backing band for this. They're doing something on it. I'll just do a needle drop. Prominent stars and sport figures are all sticking out. So let's go live to Dr. Calvin Roll on one decision. Drugs are destroying us and our future. You know who's selling those drugs. Say no to drugs. That's the body that they have ever The only people that can save us follow us. And then the flip side is the song, I want to say. I, I know I listened to it earlier. I'll pray. It's just interesting, man. It definitely is dated. I mean, it just, that's what was going on in D.C. at the time in the 80s, man, you know. Uh, that's it. So, moving on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I found this was this was something I didn't know exist. Here's the mighty uh, Peacemakers. Here's a 12 inch on YPI Records, and I had never seen this before. Same song that's on the uh, on the LP that I that I just dropped for you guys. So I, I'm glad to have that. I'm always glad to have local stuff. Um, I'm saving the best for last, of course. And then I found Poor Righteous Teachers, the LP, man. You know that old school rap. That old school hip hop, rock this funky joint. Do you guys remember rock this funky joint? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me. I gotta just drop it for no. I mean, just for the old school, rock this funky joint, y'all. Hold on. It needs to be clean, so it might be noisy. Let's go. Walkman, no, is that Walkman? That might have been Discman time. I was just, God. Oh, and here's a blowfly that I picked up out of that same collection that I had never seen before. Porno freak. Um, I don't really like blowfly. I think he's a novelty. Um, oh, well, no, he is a novelty. I take him for what he is. I don't take blowfly any any. I don't take blowfly any more seriously. Then he should be taken. You know, when he before Blowfly, when he was just you know doing his thing down on on Austin Records, and you know Mr. Reed, he was he was dope. I I respect that. Some of that stuff was was good. Just not a big Blowfly fan. Fan. I, I you know that's the thing about record collecting. You you'll find that record collectors like to take a lot of things that are not that ne not necessarily all that. Uh, uh, so most of the time that are novelties and they just make it cult classics. I never understood that. Uh, so, you know, I'm not all that excited to have the Blowfly, but I hadn't seen it before, so I got it. And then JB's International. Yeah, the funkiest disco that you ever had. J the JB's, man, they tried so hard to do straight-up disco, but they just couldn't, man. It's still funky. I mean, it's still, if you ask me, it is still funky. And this is a promo. Check that out. Just has that James Brown stamp, stamp on it. This is one of the disco 
it sound like that. <laughs> just, it sounds funky to me. Okay, so the last one is another test pressing. Where, where are we at? 20 minutes. Damn. Look at this, man. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I got this because I want this to be a present. Um, I'm not going to keep this. But this is a, it's a family affair by EU. Look at that. It's a test pressing of EU. And we all know EU, just in case we forgot. Experience Unlimited. Black Fire Records. Yeah. It's the OG too. I've shown that before. This is the same band. Later on though, when they became more straight up go-go, this has a lot of dust on it. But uh, I'm going to play this for you. This is them doing a cover. And anybody knows about go-go, go -Go, one of the elements of go-go, they had a lot of originality, but they also did a lot of covers of songs in the go-go format. And so this is what it sounds like. This is them doing Slide and Family Stones. It's a family affair. <laughs> Thank you. 